Hi, I'm Andy with EcoCha, and here we are with batch number 27 of the EcoCha Tea Club. And this February 2018, we have a batch of Premier Crop Organic Jin Xuan Oolong. Premier Crop meaning that this is the first harvest uh, from young plants planted just about two years ago, actually, uh, two years ago as of this, the end of this month. So uh, our friend and pioneer in organic farming in the Songbolin area of Nanto County uh, planted a new crop of Jinshuan tea plants uh, in late winter, early spring 2016. And uh, when we visited him uh, before the holidays in, in late December, we, uh, as usual, asked him if he had any new and interesting batches of tea to share and he said oh yeah I have a I have a batch of Jinshuan that's not bad and sure enough it turned out to be the crop that we had followed uh, for the last couple years and asked him to uh, let us know this is a slightly larger pot I think they go a little bit more uh, this I think is about a 175 milliliter pot so I'm gonna go for around by eye, I'm eyeing it here, but I'm guessing about 10 grams of tea. It's an unroasted batch of tea. Uh, the leaves were allowed to oxidize sufficiently uh, and have a really interesting character. Um, Mr. Cher related that the new tea plants have a lot of energy and the nutrients within the leaves, given that the plants are really working hard to survive and, uh, and have, you know, they're in the prime of their life, so to speak, uh, about two years into taking root. And uh, yeah, there's, a, there's just a lot of vibrancy in the character of this batch of tea that has uh, come out of that first harvest. So Mr. Shea agreed to let us know about this tea uh, early on when he first harvested. Uh, as per our request, but didn't say anything until we asked, which is fairly, uh, shall I say, representative of the local culture here. It's a combination of humility, uh, of not being, you know, proudly announcing their achievements and such, and also just allowing things to happen. Uh, if you're interested enough, you might get in on this uh, scene here at hand. There is that underlying uh, sense often in my experience. And as luck had it, I, I did, I did a, appear on the scene and asked him in a timely manner just a few weeks after this crop was harvested. And I knew I wanted to share it, but of course I had to taste the tea. So I, I uh, tactfully uh, requested a sample that I could take home and, and taste on my own. And uh, the next day, I brewed it at home and instantly was uh, very excited and inspired to have the opportunity to share this batch of tea. On an ideological level and a personal level as well, we're inspired to share this tea due to its story and uh, the story of our friend who is a pioneering organic farmer. Uh, so Mr. Shea, he is a third generation tea farmer and around uh, the turn of the century, around the year 2000, given uh, his own experience as a conventional tea farmer and just his life orientation, he committed to going organic. And uh, it was a very risky decision to make, uh, particularly at that time. There were little or no role models to follow. He had to blaze his own trail, so to speak. And his father, uh, as he tells the tale, openly mocked him and criticized his, his choices in, in becoming an organic tea farmer. And he struggled. And now 20 years later, he's a leader in his community. It's, he obviously impresses us greatly, and you might see that in my expression. Uh, a lot of admiration for this guy and his work in pioneering the organic tea uh, industry in Taiwan. So rich.
it's it's a very green character but there's so much substance the the thickness if i may of the the body in the tea the texture the smoothness of texture is really hard to come by in recent years especially even at high elevations for the highest quality high mountain tea uh, the high mountain teas that are commonly available now are very uh, distinctly fragrant and sweet and are they're made with finesse so that there is a uh, minimal astringency or bitterness but to find a tea with this texture very fresh green herbal qualities i ended up doing what i often do which is putting a little bit more than enough in the teapot and that creates uh the effect of having more emphasis on the flavor on the palate and uh, a little bit overpowers the aromatic qualities so if you're looking to get the subtleties and the aromatic qualities put less tea in your teapot proportionately uh, brew it for slightly uh, faster intervals uh, and then you can go from there when after you get the more subtle essence of the tea you can push it in terms of concentration Put a little more tea leaves in, let it brew a little longer, and get the whole spectrum of character that this uh, that this crop of tea offers. It has a lot to offer. I, I have goosebumps just experiencing this because procuring a batch of tea at this elevation with this substance of flavor is extremely rare. Uh, there's a lot of tea available in this region that's quite good. It's it's quite fragrant. A lot of floral character teas, uh, sweetness, all those qualities are more commonly available. But I think, I think what Mr. Shea says is true. Uh, the very first harvest from this new crop of Jinshuan, the younger the tea plants are, the more they have to offer in terms of the actual uh, constituents within the tea leaves. So uh, this month is the Chinese New Year uh, coming up in just a few days and we're we feel that it's particularly auspicious that we can offer a, a fresh new crop from a brand new plot of organically cultivated Jinshuan tea plants from Nanto County and uh, cultivated and also cured by a person that is way up there on our uh, respect scale this guy is a pioneer he's He's just an all-around uh, hero in our eyes. The truth is that uh, the time from when these plants were put in the ground until now uh, is when we really got to know Mr. Shea and become friends and not just know him as a source of organic tea. So we've, we've, uh, we now understand him on a more personal level and, uh, and have heard his perspective communicated to us a number of times so that we uh, have gained a depth of understanding of his whole approach and uh, that's what is behind sharing this batch of tea for us it's quite meaningful it's not just a nice batch of tea that's organic it's representing uh, at this stage in Mr. Shea's career that started 30 years ago uh, where he is at and um, it's quite profound you can tell that uh, this is serious stuff for me, and uh, I, I love doing the tea club. I love being able to go out and find these batches of tea to share with people that are dedicated to experiencing unique batches of tea. Every time we find a rare batch of tea that inspires us to share with our Eco Cha Tea Club, it just puts that much more momentum in our work here at the source in Taiwan to to share what we have, to share the gift that we've come upon and have not left uh, for the last 25 years. That's, that's where we're at with batch number 27 in the Eco Cha Tea Club. And at first, I must admit, I was intimidated when we started this club and how am I gonna find a unique batch of tea every single month for years on end? But you know what? I just gain confidence with time. I, I've found that there's a lot out there and the more I understand tea, the more I can find things that are interesting and be able to share my understanding of this particular batch of tea with people that want to know. That's what 
motivates our team here at EcoCha. And so uh, we just want to wish you a happy year of the dog uh, starting the Lunar New Year in a couple of days with this freshly harvested batch of tea from a brand new crop of organic jinshuan oolong. May it be uh, an auspicious beginning for us all who partake in this batch of tea. Uh, we already feel that way and we're confident that you will too upon receiving it and tasting it. Thanks for being with us and we'll see you next month.